Hi, welcome back to Wally's Workshop. Uh, this is the uh, wood work extension on my shed, which is still not finished. Um, but it used to just be a storage area, and I kept my air compressor down here, and that was fine. But of course, now I've got woodworking equipment and stuff in here. There's a lot of sawdust. It's not a great place for a, uh, an air compressor because dust. Um, so I want to move the air compressor out to another bit behind my shed. Um, the air compressor is currently here, underneath that plastic sheet. Um, so first of all, because it's been there for a long time, um, I'm going to give it a bit of a service uh, and show you what it looks like. So this is it. What is it, you're probably thinking. Well, as you can see, that's a old gas bottle. Uh, these three compressors were out of a um, some sort of industrial refrigeration unit and they'd been fly tipped. A friend of mine spotted them uh, and we uh, went out and picked them up. Uh, we didn't have to cut any pipes or anything, it was just literally uh, unbolt them at the bottom. Um, and so, I have no idea what happened to the refrigerant gas, but that was long gone by the time we found them. So, yeah, strap them on here, thinking this thing's only going to last five minutes. So I didn't put a lot of care and effort into it. And it's been going for, well, 12 years, probably. Um, it's had regular oil top-ups. So I've put a little oil, oil loop, which goes through all three of them here. So I can see how much oil is in the uh, compressors. And that looks reasonably healthy at the moment. Although they do um, uh, issue a fair bit. Uh, and then this uh, valve at the bottom was originally intended to be a, a water release valve and I never got around to wiring it up and it just uh, oh, A leaks air and B leaks oil um, so I think I'll probably um, get rid of that and just put a, a ball valve on it. Got a reasonably decent regulator on there however I'm probably going to go I'm going to upgrade the got PCL connectors on there at the moment and I'll be upgrading those to uni style connectors uh, there's probably a better name for them but that's what I know them as um, PCL's a 6mm bore, these uh, unis are 8 so it gives you a lot more flow. And then this was bought off eBay, it's just a standard uh, compressor um, controller, so it just runs until it hits a preset pressure and shuts off. And that's about it really. That there is for connecting, I've got a small uh, half horsepower, three quarter horsepower, something like that, um, cheap compressor which I can also hook up to this. Um, to provide extra flow if I need it. Most of the time I don't need it. It's only when I was using air tools and stuff on cars that I needed a bit more flow. Um, I used to have a, a pipe which ran all the way from the back of the shed. See where that blue pipe goes? That's the other side of there is where the air compressor is. Um, but anyway, so the air went along. There's a, a pipe there. And then that pipe there goes down under the ground and went all the way to the end of the garden where I had a um, a long bit of hose which I could then take all the way out to the front of the house um, to run air tools on. Problem with that was you get this massive pressure drop down the <laughs> really really long hose um, and I never got around to having a local air receiver to use as a, a sort of reservoir. Right so the obviously main problem with this is that um, it's been sat there probably got water in it I've no idea how safe that is. So, I have bought myself one of these. Now what the purpose of this is, it's a hand pumped um, pressure tester. Um, you see, I've seen this on, um, it was on Blondie Hacks when she was testing a boiler or something. Um, but this will go up to 350 psi, which is about three times the working pressure of this tank. So it will give me some degree of confidence that um, it's not going to explode. It's also going to be on the other side of a wall, which gives me a little bit of extra protection in case anything goes wrong. Um, I certainly wouldn't want to turn this on and be in the same room as it just at the moment, because having thought about it, I can imagine that there's a fair bit of rust in there. Um, I'm going to give it a visual inspection as well, but it's limited amount that I can see um, just by looking at it. So you, what happens is you fill it with water, you fill the um, the tray on this thing with water, um, and then you just use the hand pump to to pump it in, um, and 
try and get up to that max pressure. This thing probably won't actually even reach that, but we'll see what happens. Um, and hopefully it'll just give me some sort of indication of the health of this thing. So there's a little bit of water in there, but I mean it's not full of it. <laughs> oh, that is. Mm. Mm, there's a lot of rust in there. You see that? Ugh. To be honest, there's a listing I found on eBay for um, air compressor tanks that where the, the actual compressor has gone faulty so the air compressor tank is basically new um, about 40 pounds it's only a 24 litre whereas I think this is about 50-ish litres um, but so I fitted um, stop valves to each end I've connected the hose to the pressure tester Right, let's fill it up with water and uh, see what happens. see water weeping out of the valve at the bottom end but that's not a surprise well that's saying 350 psi and well it's clearly leaking because I can see it running out of that joint there <laughs> it's leaking here as well Interesting, just noticed on this um, hose we've got a 350 psi gauge, but it says do not use above 300 psi. So, all nice and safe. Now, that is staying pretty much put at 350. I mean, there's bound to be some leakage because there's a little bit of weeping, but fairly surprised at that. So, shall we see what 350 psi looks like when I open the valve? Okay, it's all dried out now. Um, 
Not a cup of tea. No, it's long enough. But all these black bits are bits of rust when I emptied the water out of here. Um, so there's a fair bit of it which hasn't come out so well on camera, but I can see a lot. So that reinforces my original thoughts when I stuck my finger in that. That's going to uh, not be ideal. Ah, in fact, oh, haha, <laughs> now that wasn't leaking earlier. Let's just get a hammer. Hmm. So it looks like this is skinned with a sort of very thin layer of aluminium. Uh, and and the paint. Um, I don't know if anyone knows a bit more about it. Be able to comment um, about what's going on there. But okay, so that's not a crack in the the vessel itself. But I would imagine this is as a protective coating to stop it rusting. Considering that that's sort of delaminated now, I can get a basically brand new air tank. Forty quid. It's not worth it. Right, I'm going to, have to call it a day on that one, and uh, when the new air tank arrives, I'll do another video and we'll put it back together again. It'll be a little bit smaller. Um, I don't need a massive air tank. I only really use air for the blowgun and for the um, mister on the mill and the lathe uh, most of the time. So I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.